Welcome to the lesson number five, the card payment cycle. In this lesson, we are going to talk about the different steps that take place whenever you pay for goods or services. At the time of purchasing goods or services, there are three different steps that take place for the completion of that transaction. First, we have authorization. Second, we have clearing. And third, we have settlement. So let's review each one of them. First, authorization. At the time of purchase, you, the cardholder, insert your card inside of one of those fancy machines when you are uh, paying in person or performing a card present transaction, or you are going to insert your card information in case that you're paying for, for something online. Step number two of the uh, authorization, the acquirer sent a request to the payment brands in order to determine the issuer. So let me, let me explain this to you. The acquirer, in this case, we are talking about the acquirer of the merchant, the bank of the merchant. It is going to send a request to the payment brands. We uh, remember, remember the payment brands might be Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Discover, or JCB International, or Union Pay. In order to determine the issuer, the issuer is the entity that gave you that particular card. Let's say, for example, your issuer is uh, Bank of America. Bank of America is your issuer. Step number three, payment brand determines who the issuer is and send request for approval. So let's say, for example, Visa uh, was able to identify that the um, issuer, in this case, your issuer is Bank of America. So Visa, it is going to send a request for approval of that transaction. Step number four, the issuer, your issuer, Bank of America, either approves or denies the purchase. The issuer um, the entity that gave you that card, it has information regarding if you have enough funds in your account to cover uh, the, um, the value of that transaction. So the issuer is going to say, yes, this person has enough money here in the account, so you are good to go. You can process that transaction. It is approved. Or no, this person uh, don't have enough funds here. There is not enough money in this person's um, account. So we cannot approve that transaction. In case that it is approved, we move to step uh, number five. Payment brand sends approval to the acquirer. So let's continue with our example. Visa, in this case, sends approval to the acquirer of the merchant, the bank of the merchant. Step number six, the acquirer, the bank of the merchant, sends approval to the merchant. The acquirer, the bank of the merchant says, okay, it is confirmed, this transaction, it is approved. You can deliver those goods or services to the client. And that takes us to step number seven. The cardholder, you, get approval to complete the purchase. So basically the merchant says, you are good to go, you can have your ice cream. Here is your receipt. Now, this might uh, sound a little bit confusing. I recommend you to um, listen or watch this video a couple of times until you get uh, this very clear, you understand it. And most likely, if you're getting prepared for one of the PCI exams, that might be one of the topics that you could find in that exam, either the ISA, QSA, or PCI exam. Now, our next step is the clearing process. Very easy, very short. First, the acquirer sends purchase information to the payment brand, acquirer of the merchant. The bank of the merchant sends purchase information to the payment brand, Visa, MasterCard, Discover, JCB, American Express, or Union Pay. Payment brand sends purchase information to the issuer, the uh, bank of the cardholder. Remember, the issuer in this case, the 
bank or the entity that gave the car to that uh, person. In this case, you, we're talking about you. Step number three, the payment brand, Visa, MasterCard, American Express, JCB, Discover, Union Pay, provides resolution to the acquirer. The acquirer, remember one more time, this is the bank of the merchant. Now, this process might take about one day in the United States. In our final step in this um, process is settlement. First, the issuer, your bank, the entity that gave you your card, the card that you are using um, in order to pay for that delicious ice cream, your issuer determines who the acquirer is. Basically, your bank or the entity that gave you that card it is going to determine who is the bank of that merchant where you are buying or paying for that ice cream. Step number two, the issuer sends payment to the acquirer. Your bank, the entity that gave you your car, it is going to pay the acquirer. It is going to pay the bank of that merchant where you are buying or paying for the ice cream. Step number three, the acquirer pays the merchant for the purchase. Basically, um, the bank of the merchant that is giving you that ice cream, it is going to pay that merchant. Number four, the issuer, your bank, the entity that gave you your card, it is going to bill you. It is going to charge you. It is going to send you a bill. This whole process, it might take about two days in the United States. And that's all for this lesson. I recommend you to watch this video at least two times. At the beginning, it might be a bit confusing, especially if you are new for in the payment card industry. But it will help you. You will get it. I can guarantee you it is not that difficult. Thank you and see you in the next video.